I have a situation where I need to change my Autodesk account email address. This is not a problem, but if I get any of the details wrong, there is a very slim chance that I may lose my cloud-based files. Therefore, I have been researching how to bulk download all my files to my desktop. One of my to-go-to sources for this type of information is Product Design Online, who has already made a video and online tutorial on this subject. I will leave links in the description. Unfortunately, the link in the tutorial is a little out of date, and when I tried to use Project Archiver, the files opened and saved, but never closed, so this eventually put a lot of stress on the computer resources. The Project Archiver GitHub does also have a tutorial in the README, and a new link for the latest distribution files, which addresses the file closing issue. The README is easy to follow, but the Fusion 360 dialogues appear to be different to my own experience. Therefore, I will briefly run through the setup on my Windows 11 desktop computer. Firstly, download the Project Archiver 2 zip file. When downloaded, copy the Project Archiver subdirectory from within the zip file. You need to progress through quite a lot of subdirectories until you end up in the Fusion 360 add-ins subdirectory. The app data directory is a hidden system directory, so make sure you have selected to view hidden files in your Explorer settings. In Fusion 360, select Utilities, then Add-ins, then finally Scripts and Add-ins. This will open the Scripts and Add-ins Manager. Scroll down and switch on Project Archiver. Click on the newly appeared Project Archiver icon and an input dialog will present itself. This panel is for selecting the output directory, which file type or types are to be saved and how the file name and title should be structured. Pressing the OK button will start the script and the files listed in the project will open and close automatically. I found that moving already completed projects into an overall umbrella project meant that the automation was extended with multiple subdirectory projects being processed after starting the script at the same time. Project Archiver does not like obscure file structures or punctuation and this may result in the script stopping. Also if you save native Fusion F3D files linked files cannot be saved. I have mostly saved step files as they are more universal, just in case I want to move to another 3D modelling programme in the future. So all in all, I am a very happy little designer. I now have a complete backup of seven years of CAD files. I doubt this would have been possible without Project Archiver. This is clearly not my most visually thrilling video, but I thought a reminder of this add-in for Fusion 360 may be useful. Thanks for watching.